Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kaylin. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an envelope template in Silhouette Studio. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create the base of the envelope. And I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to make this 150 millimeters by 120 millimeters and that is six inches by four and a half inches if i'm not mistaken and then i'm just going to fill this with a solid color so that it's easier to see what i'm doing All right and then i'm going to draw four little squares or i'm actually going to draw one square and then duplicate that three times so i'm going to grab my rectangle tool again holding down the shift key i'm going to click and drag and I'm going to make the square 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And I'm going to change the color of this to blue. All right. And then I'm going to hold down control C to copy it and then control V to paste this three times. And then we can position this in each corner of our rectangle. So if you have your guides on in Silhouette Studio, this process will be a lot easier. If you don't see your guides, you can come over to view on the top here and then you can just click on show guides. OK, so I'm going to line up each of these little squares. And now that we have that all ready to go, I'm going to select over everything over the entire design. And I'm going to come over to the uh, modify panel. And I'm going to click on subtract and that is going to subtract our squares from our rectangle. OK, you will see that it has created these weird lines at the bottom here. If you go to send this to your cameo, it will cut out those lines as you can see there. So we need to get rid of that and we will do that later on in the video. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the folds of my envelope. And I need to create triangles in order to do this. So I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to come over to my uh, rectangle tool and I'm going to hold down shift to create an even square. And then I'm going to fill this in with a solid color and then I'm going to rotate this. So I'm going to go to the transform panel and then I'm going to click on the rotate icon and I'm going to rotate this to a 45 degree angle. The next thing I want to do is split the shape in half. So to do that, I'm going to click on my knife tool and I'm just going to eyeball this. You want to try and get it at the dead center. And then I'm going to click and drag so that it draws a straight line and I'm going to click on the other end and that will split the shape in half. So we don't need the bottom end of this. I'm just going to delete it. And there we have our triangle. OK, so now I am going to line this a triangle up with the corners of my rectangle or the corners of the base of my envelope. And I'm going to line it up with this corner and this corner. So I'm going to put my triangle right on top of that. And you might need to zoom in a little bit to see um, if you're lining up this up correctly. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go to the other side. It just needs to be a little bit smaller. And I'm going to line that up just like that. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate this triangle by holding Control and then con Control C, sorry, to copy it and then Control V to paste it. And I'm going to rotate this uh, triangle to another 45 degree angle. Um, I'm going to do that twice so that. I can line it up with the right hand side here and then I'm going to zoom in so that I can see if this is lining up correctly. All right, we just need to nudge that a little bit and then just make it a little bit smaller. That's perfect. And then I'm going to, I'm not actually going to duplicate this right now. You'll see why in a second. So I'm going to keep that just like that okay so for the next step if i wanted to weld this together if i wanted to weld the rectangle and the triangle together just like that it's not going to weld because the triangles have nothing to weld to so we need to create a little sort of lip 
for that and I'm going to show you how I do that. So to create this little lip, I'm just going to draw a thin rectangle. And I think that is good. I'm going to fill it with the black. Sorry, I'm going to fill it with a solid color. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And I want to drag out these corners to the end of the uh, triangle. I don't want to go over. I'm just going to go a little before the corner here. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to just zoom out a little bit here. And then I'm going to select my triangle and this uh, thin rectangle. And I'm going to weld those two together. All right, now that that is done, I can duplicate this one and I'm going to rotate it to about 90 degrees twice. And then I'm going to copy the right hand side triangle and I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees twice. And now we can uh, start lining this up and weld everything together as one shape. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in because I want to uh, see what I'm doing and just make sure that I get all the sides lined up nice and evenly. OK, that looks good. If your guides are on, this will make it a lot easier. And then I'm just going to nudge it down with my arrow keys and just make sure that there's no white gaps. That looks pretty good. So as you can see, this little lip sort of has something to weld to now. OK, and now I'm going to move on to the uh, right hand side and my guide snapped that into place for me. And I'm just going to nudge this a little bit until I line that up. I'm going to do the same for the bottom. And then for the left hand side. Okay, this is starting to come together. So now I'm going to weld all the triangles to the rectangle or to the base of the envelope. I'm not going to do this all at once because for some reason when I did that, it created all these weird lines. So I'm just going to do it one by one. So I'm going to select the top uh, triangle and weld it to the base of our envelope. And then I'm going to weld the right hand side, the bottom, and then the left hand side. And I'm quite surprised it didn't create any of those like weird lines. I'm so happy about that. If you find that you have a line that's coming out from one of the corners over here to do that, to, to fix that, you can just right click on your design and you can go to edit points and you can select which points is sort of um, sticking out and just delete it that way and that seems to fix that problem but it didn't do um, that in my tutorial today <laughs> today so I'm so happy about that okay and that is how you create an envelope template we can uh, you don't have to create score lines but we can take this a, a step further and create score lines the cameo can score so why not so to do that, I'm going to draw another rectangle and I want to draw this within the envelope template. I just want to make sure that these corners are all matching up. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to make sure that these corners are lining up pretty well. OK, that looks good to me. This needs to come down just a tad bit. And that looks pretty good. So now we can create score lines. Um, you can keep it the same color if you want to. You don't have to change the color of your score lines. But I like to do that. It just helps me to sort of know what is scoring and what is cutting. So I'm going to change my score lines to blue. And you can even change the lines to make it a stippled line or whatever your heart desires. Just keep in mind that if you're going to score this on the Cameo, the Cameo will score it 
exactly as you have the line pattern. Um, if you have a solid line, the Cameo will score a solid line, if that makes sense. So if we go to send this on the Cameo, you can select to cut by line and you can change your line color action to cut or score depending on what color you want scored and what color line color you want cut. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know if you're going to be trying this out. I'd love to see your creation. Thank you so much once again for watching and thank you to my new subscribers. I truly appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you in the next craft video. Have a good one. Bye.